Welcome back everybody, my name is Jim. Thank you for joining me again on the RV Concierge channel. Tonight we're gonna to do a review of a 2015 Numar Ventana 4002. Let's go take a look. All right, let's get started. This Numar Ventana is built on the Freightliner raised rail chassis with the 8.9 liter Cummins featuring 400 horsepower and 1250 pound-feet of torque. Uh, with the tag axle and the Allison 3000 motorhome series transmission, this coach can tow 15,000 pounds. So we're gonna take a look at the outside and then we will jump on the inside. So first thing you're gonna notice is this is a really nice masterpiece uh, paint finish. This is BASF automotive style paint. Got really nice alloy wheels. These are brand new Toyo tires on this and they're 305 70 R 22.5. You have a door awning, a power patio awning, frameless windows, slide toppers on each of the three slide outs. You're going to have a living room and a bed slide on this side and a full wall slide on the other side. 100 gallons of fuel you can fill from either side. Um, both fill, fuel fills go into the same 100 gallon tank. First compartment here does not go all the way through. However, the next two do go all the way through. This one has a slide tray. And there are LED lights in each of these compartments. And this one goes all the way through. Numar has a flush wall slide system. The slide sit flush into the sidewall of the coach. This compartment here is your outside entertainment. Got a Sony TV on a swivel arm right there. Very nice. You got a propane furnace right there. There's your bed slide. You do have a drive axle with dual rear wheels. Then you have your tag along axle for weight distribution. And it looks like they do have tire pressure monitoring, and that's aftermarket. Do have a dryer, that's the vent for the dryer. There's your engine batteries with a disconnect switch in there. Coming around to the back, got a really nice fiberglass rear cap. You do have a backup and side view cameras. This one does give you a folding ladder, so you can access the roof, and this is a fiberglass roof. Looks like they have some sort of uh, antenna on that up there. Again, 400 horsepower, 1250 torque. This coach can tow 15,000 pounds. It does have the seven pin Bargman connector and it looks like they do have it set up for air braking. Very nice. Coming around to the side. Last compartment has your engine block heater. There is storage here. There is some uh, leftovers in there from the previous owner more storage right here that's your 10 gallon tanked water heater and that is a gas electric water heater up there is the intake for the engine Numar puts it up as high as they can so that you're not sucking road debris into your engine that's your DEF or your diesel exhaust fluid everything after 2010 have to have that sewer tube storage compartment right there and again another demonstration of the flush slide out system the slide walls are recessed into the sidewall of the coach full wall slide on this side with a slide topper alloy wheels got brand new toyo tires this one is your wet bay in the wet bay you do have an outside shower with hot and cold water a winterization slash sanitation uh, system with that clear tube you got your black and your gray and your sewer hook up right there. You take your sewer tube down through there. Full house filtration. And the hose is on a power reel. Very nice. You do have a uh, 
sewer rinse right there. And you can divert the water straight to the plumbing or put it up to go into tank fill. Low point drains for the plumbing are right there. And all the way in the back, you have your low point drain for your fresh water tank. And the water pump is right here, so it's easy to get at if you need to replace it. Next compartment over is your shore power cord. That is on a power reel as well. You just push the button right back here and it'll retract itself right in there. Very nice. You got your park cable hookup right there. A light with a switch right there. This is your auto transfer switch right there. Very nice. This does have a dual AC and dual furnace system. So this is the other propane furnace and you have two rooftop air conditioners. Full pass-through storage right there. And also in the next compartment, and this is the one with the slide tray. It can go out in either direction. This compartment is your house batteries. Now, this has six house batteries because it does have a large inverter to run the refrigerator while you're going down the highway. That's your propane tank. Your other fuel fill. In this compartment, you have chassis electrical, but you have the hood release for the generator compartment right there. That's the exhaust for the diesel generator. There's your side view camera. It does have a little scrape right there. I wanna show that. I popped the hood for the generator. Underneath of here, you have your 8KW quiet diesel generator, more than enough to run everything in this coach. An onboard air compressor hookup right there. Does have a light underneath there and your air horns. Uh, also the windshield washer fluid is down there as well. All right, that is the outside of this beautiful coach. Let's go take a look at the inside. All right, as we enter the coach, I like to have the slide outs closed so that I can show you how you can get back to the refrigerator, bathroom, and bedroom. No problem getting into the refrigerator. Can open both of those doors all the way and the drawer on the bottom, no problem there. Get into the freezer. On the mid bathroom, since it is a full wall slide, they have a mid pivot door so you can open that all the way to be able to get into the bathroom. No problem getting in here, washing your hands. And you can get all the way back to the bedroom. No problem. You can still sleep in this bed. All right, let's open it up and I'll show you the rest. All right, I'm gonna start at the cab and then we'll work our way back. So this coach does have the HWH hydraulic leveling system. You got your shifter for the transmission your power mirrors and they are heated right next to that you have your tag dump button and your engine brake high low and off you have the dial for your comfort drive which is a power steering assist designed to combat driver fatigue you have the switch for your parking brake this tells you when your tow vehicle uh, brakes are engaged you have a smart wheel they do give you a separate turn signal and backup monitor from your radio and GPS. And that is your HVAC right there. You just have some switches. You can put your air horn on here, do your front shades with power, um, overhead fans, so you can put them on high, medium, and low, and then your generator start and stop, as well as your courtesy lights and your step cover steps actually turn into the step cover to cover up that hole when you go into motion so nobody's falling down in there and twisting an ankle or worse all right really nice front seats they have been recovered with a way more durable material than what was on there from the factory when these were new the sofa has been replaced this is a sleeper sofa pull out sleeper sofa and has a nice little armrest there with cup holders. On the other side, two freestanding uh, recliners. You do have a TV on a televator right there that will go down into the countertop. If you have folks sitting on both sides here and over here, you can watch that overhead television right there. 
These seats do swivel around to become part of the living space. And the passenger seat has a footrest. It looks like the driver's seat does as well. You've got footrests on both sides so they can be recliners. And these are both power flex steel seats. Really nice polished porcelain tile floor throughout. Love that. You have a freestanding table there. Outlets with 110 and USB throughout the coach, plus regular 110 outlets. Cabinets over top of the sofa over here. Cabinets over top of the recliners. This coach has a full home theater surround sound system with a Weingart Traveler satellite, direct TV box, and a Blu-ray player. Most of your controls are gonna be over top of the door here. You got your thermostat for your air conditioning and heat right there. The slide out fascia is lit with some nice lighting there on both sides and in the bedroom. Kitchen, plenty of cabinetry space. Really nice backsplash with a convection microwave oven and a three burner gas cooktop. They do give you a single basin sink, very large, with a pull-out sprayer faucet. Nice kitchen window there. Some cabinetry above. Large residential refrigerator with ice and water. This one does have central back. You have a nice midship bath with a porcelain toilet. Pedal flush with a resin lid. Really nice toilet paper dispenser there. Window in here. All new Mars come with a nice breaker box in the bathroom, as well as your 12 volt color coded wiring. And they're all labeled. You've got a lot of storage in this mid bath. Nice hand towel holder, medicine cabinet, vessel bowl sink with a little bit of countertop and nice backsplash. They do have automatic fans in here and a water pump switch at every wet station. There's a nice outlet in there. So Numar does their construction a little differently than everybody else. I'm gonna put a clip of a uh, video that I made to explain how that is. So this is Numar's sidewall construction. On the top, you're gonna see how everybody else is constructed and that's not bad. Numar's just better. They can be up to three inches thick, 16 on center, aluminum studded wall regular household batten insulation in the wall. Then you have this craft vapor barrier that will block any moisture into the coach. And then an additional bead foam insulation before the interior decorative wall. Now they can run their electrical through the walls because they're aluminum studded where everybody else can't because it's a solid wall. Making our way back to the master bedroom. You do have a king bed with nightstands on either side. There are speakers in the bedroom that are hooked to the radio up front and you can turn them off right here. Accent lighting along your slide fascia on both sides. Nightstands do have nice little cabinets and there are 110 outlets on either side of the bed base. You got wardrobes on either side of the television with a big Sony TV in the middle, egress window right there. And there are five drawers underneath. The one with the glass door is the audio visual for the bedroom. Really nice smoked out mirror here. Going into the rear bathroom. Another nice toilet paper holder. Macerating porcelain toilet with a resin lid. Another automatic fan, a towel holder. A little bit of storage over top of the bathroom. You do have a window in here. This does have a stackable washer and dryer, very nice. Medicine cabinet over top of the sink. Very good size. Plenty of countertop space with some more backsplash. Really nice backsplash. Another water pump switch here. They do give you a little bit of storage underneath of the sink with a big drawer. Another drawer over here. And in here is your water heater underneath it here to make it easy to winterize. They do give you a safe and another hanging closet in here. 
then you have a really nice corner radius shower with Centrell solid surface lining. A nice shower head with a shampoo shelf there. This is a 36 inch corner radius shower. Very nice. Hidden air conditioning called Total Comfort AC. It's a very quiet, whisper quiet. You do have a pocket door here at the bathroom and a pocket door here at the front of the bedroom. And then there are windows on either side of the bed base for some nice cross ventilation. Pantry next to the refrigerator with adjustable drawers. Very nice coach. All right, everybody. That is a 2015 Numar Ventana 4002 full wall slide bath and a half with the king bed. This coach is currently still available. If you'd like to know more or if you have any questions, you can text, call, or email me. My information is right there. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe.